renowned South African oncologist Cyril Carabas has been granted bail by a court in the United Arab Emirates. The 77-year-old professor has been in custody for the past eight weeks following his arrest on manslaughter charges. A Dubai court convicted him in absentia for the death of a three-year-old who later succumbed to leukemia. Carabas was on his way back from Canada when he was arrested in transit in the UAE. Last week, his bail application was denied and court proceedings adjourned after the prosecutor was unable to find crucial documents. Now, it's expected Carabas will be released on bail of 235,000 Rand. His family and legal team are delighted. Well, let's speak to advocate Dania Lichtenstein. She is senior partner for Bagram Attorneys, uh, who are representing him here from South Africa. Dania, thanks very much for your time this afternoon. I understand officials Thank are still busy with the paperwork surrounding his bail application. When is he expected to be released? Well, we are hopeful that once the paperwork is finalized on Sunday, um, because Sunday is a business day uh, in the United Arab Emirates, um, we are hopeful that he will be released on Sunday in order to commence his time outside of the prison. What are his bail conditions likely to be? Well, what has happened is he has had to obviously relinquish his passport at this time. He's had to hand it over to the authorities and has not been entitled to the return of that passport, which was handed over at the time of the arrest. Now that he's on bail, he still is not entitled to that passport. He has also had to pay 100,000 dirhams, which is approximately 235 to 240,000 rand. Um, and that is the paperwork. It's a matter of getting that money across in order to be handed over to the prison authorities in order to allow for his release and for the bail to commence. And the, the professor's health, we know, is known to be fragile. Has he been getting the treatment a man with his heart condition requires? From, from what we understand, he has been receiving the medication and the care um, because he does have a pacemaker. He's a 70-year-old, 77-year-old man, um, and he needs to have the necessary medical care in order to ensure his health. Um, so far, we do understand that he is getting the medical attention that he needs, but obviously this has been an extremely stressful time for him, um, and his heart is is what concerns us tremendously. We know there have been many delays in the case as well uh, because of the fact that prosecutors couldn't find some documents that were essential in this case. Have these documents been located so the case can proceed? Well, that's what's interesting. Fortunately, the bail has been granted and the judge has ordered um, for the release of those medical files it's now up to the hospital to release those medical files of 10 years ago. Um, it's up to the prosecution now to have sight of those medical files and for the defense team to have sight of those medical files, which to date have not been forthcoming. So we're not too sure how this is going to unfold um, in the course of the next few weeks, but we are tremendously hopeful that that file is going to be presented in accordance with the court order. So far, how easy has it been for, for the attorneys representing him in the UAE to get hold of documents that will help them to prepare for this case? Well, that's what's been so tremendously frustrating in that the file has been called for for a number of weeks already, um, and now it is the first time that the defense team um, are going to possibly have sight of this file. They've been asking for it for weeks and only now has the judge ordered that the file is to be delivered. If you recall, the original ruling was handed down without any documentation and without a file having been presented. So now the judge has ordered for that file to be presented in order for the defense to understand what uh, Professor Carabas has actually been held for. Uh, could, he, could he not be extradited to South Africa to stand trial here? Well, that's what's interesting. We have been speaking with the Department of International Relations and Cooperation, and it's taken some time, but finally they have started to place some kind of pressure on the United Arab Emirates. Um, it is still unclear as to whether the possibility of extradition is possible for Professor Carabas to stand trial here. What is being asked of 
in terms of the court judgment is a third requirement, namely that once the file has been released and the defense team has been, have been given an opportunity to have sight of it, that file is going to go to an independent panel for assessment. And what we're asking is that we're asking for the International Relations uh, Department uh, with the assistance of SAMA, the South African Medical Association, who have provided us with assistance and support. We are willing to provide the authorities in Abu Dhabi and the panel, the medical panel in Abu Dhabi, with any assistance of any kind they require um, in order to do their analysis. Um, we are hopeful that we will be able to provide assistance to the authorities in Abu Dhabi because the nature of the, the treatment given was to a child. Um, Professor Carabas, as you well know, is a pediatric oncologist. He's a specialist in his field, and we feel that the assistance of a pediatric oncologist through SAMA, through the South African Medical Association, here with the support of the International Relations Department, would be of great value and guidance to the medical panel in Abu Dhabi who have to now analyze and assess the file. Claudia Lichtenstein, partner with the Bagram attorneys uh, who are, of course, representing Cyril Carabas um, in this case. Thank you very much for your time this afternoon. Thank you for allowing